Hello Ezreal Jingness uh, and uh, Domi Don't Know. Wait, Dom? I don't know. Anyway, hello guys, thank you for showing up. Just give me a second to uh, set things up. Okay. Let's get Hello Paul, damn it, I really wish um, YouTube had this feature when when the chat would make a sound every time uh, every time somebody makes a comment leaves a message, I mean, you know, like this uh, sound notification thing uh, Hello Yoko Wallis again um, if, uh, if the music is too loud, make sure to let me know, guys. Or if it's not loud enough. Good morning, in in Golfur. I think we met already a few hours ago. Or maybe I am confusing you with someone else. Oh, 
coffee for us. Well, uh, Yoko Wallis, it's uh, Slay Radio. I usually listen to it during my streams, and um, yeah, they often play chip tune music. Purity scene, are you seriously back? I am I am afraid to to get too excited. Because I am very happy to have you back here. Although you know you are you already played through like most of my games so I suppose you can now just rest and do nothing and take part in my in my awesome in my super awesome streams super mega awesome and um, yes <laughs> yeah, you know what? You often say that you are, uh, you know, you are staying up late at night. Um, I'm worried. I'm worried about your health because I need you healthy. You should be really careful with your sleep sleeping patterns. Sleep is important. Emulating the past. Ten, nine, eight, Still, it's so it's pretty cool that you were able to make it to both of my streams. And if you were, if you had a normal schedule, you would be asleep right now. So I should not complain and worry. I should be happy that you are here. <sighs> oh yeah, I know I know everything about insomnia. Sometimes especially the older I get the more difficult it, it it is to get um the more difficult it is to fall asleep sometimes i even i even have medication that i take sometimes to make sure i i sleep properly
Well, good for you, purity, and uh, also good for me. Because, like I said, because of your uh, unusual schedule, I am able to have you on my streams. Yay! Mr. Cho, it is not a regular brush, it's magic. I actually ordered this one from, from, from United States. I am very particular about my drawing supplies. When I, when I was studying in a abroad I got used to one particular brand of of brushes and uh, I don't know nothing else is working for me I just like this this brand That's okay, purity sin. You don't need to be more awake. You were, you know, you were awake enough a few hours ago when I was when I was streaming this morning. So you can now just relax and and slowly fall asleep to the magical sound of my voice. Uh, what, what is it called? M MSMR, MSR, RMSR video, you know, that video that is you supposed to jerk off to, uh, I mean that's supposed to relax you. R RMSMR, <laughs> what is it called? RMSR? RMR? Fuck! MSR, MSR? Video from Ekabor. Fall asleep, motherfucker, fall asleep. Oh no, <laughs> that was not for you, Purity. For you it would be something more... Uh, something more... Uh, gentle. And nice. ASMR, yes, thank you, uh, Ezreal. Uh, no. <laughs> Israel, sorry. Israel is a country. Or oh, is it Israel? I am confusing my own shit. I need more coffee. I often, I always feel uh, sleepy after, in the afternoon. So, coffee. Coffee usually solves that problem. <sighs> but fighting anime, oh, it sounds like you're watching something... something awesome. <laughs> I have very vivid imagination, so... Thank you. Thank you for the mental picture. Yeah, well, I'm not really, not really sleepy, but you know, um, kind of like low on energy until I get my coffee shot. If all, if all goes well, this will be a very uh, lengthy stream, well, for me, 
I know Purity hosts streams like four and five hours long. I cannot do that. That's a young people's game. I am too old for that shit. But still, I think at least three hours I should be online today. Just send me a link on Twitter, as always, and I will check it out. Your butt fighting anime. Dude, if, I, I hope you are not talking about me because I am not making a living out of my hobby. I am a fucking professional, which means I work like constantly. I work more than people who go to office work. I barely have any time for anything, so yeah. It was my hobby like 10 years ago. Now it's my it's my day job and my night job. Shit, man, I'm in my 30s and uh, I have been doing this for as long as I remember myself, so... It must be the but I know I could have been much better at this if I, if I had a chance to go to art school when I was younger. Exactly, purity. Um, I know that it, like uh, this stuff takes a lot of time, you know. Even when I record like one of my silly videos where I just talk, it still takes a lot of time to uh, uh, to to edit. Even if I don't do much editing, still. So this shit takes crazy amount of amounts of time, actually. When I see YouTubers who you know do videos and they make they edit them and shit. I just know that they spent insane amount of hours to do this something uh, and make it that way that it looks like it was like you know it's fun and it was was not difficult to create. But it always involves a lot of work if, if it's something nice and well done.
Well, Paul, I don't know what to say. It's just fire that keeps burning inside of me. I don't think it's it's that unusual. It's actually quite normal for uh, you know. So if you want to do something like for real seriously, you have to do sacrifice. Uh, you have to sacrifice things like your social life and, and shit. You cannot do everything. So I chose what I want to do, and everything else doesn't matter. Yeah, I know, and it's crazy, uh, Purity Sin. I know what you mean about like things being time-consuming. Time uh, you know, till I got into game development, I didn't realize how like much labor it requires. How much work it requires. Even mundane, simple things. It's crazy. And uh, I used to take all that for granted, you know, and now... And my games are incredibly simple. I can only imagine how much work, like, uh, actual, you know, like, uh, AAA titles take. Like, how much work is going on uh, in the background. It's, it's crazy. And it, it is true for everything, you know, for books, for movies. If, if something is well done, it means somebody uh, worked his or her ass for, for it, make sure it is. It is what it is. And uh, I don't think I realized it before I got into game development somehow. Um, I don't know. I should have, I should have, have. But I don't think I did. Hello, Yutis. Welcome to my kingdom of magic and 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 slots. Thanks, um, Yoko Wallis. Um, I am really, really, really happy to hear that because uh, I really work hard for them, and uh, you know, I am just some some sad Russian bastard uh, who is just trying to do his best. So I am glad. Pays off. Still, you know, my games are are, are very. Um, Simple. I try to uh, make sure they are polished and well made, uh, but I am just one person, so I need to keep things simple. Um, but yeah, thank you for for your kind words, man. Really, really, really appreciate it because, well, like I said, it takes a lot of work, so. It's nice to know it was not for nothing. Stay tuned for more updates for uh, Space Channel 34. Alex Gorshnev. I am... I am... My nationality is... My nationality is Martian. I am from the proud nation of Mars. Death to all Earthlings. <laughs> Thank you, Purity Scene. You're so nice. Um, yeah, it takes a lot of work. 
but you already know that. <laughs> Thanks. I'm really surprised still, you know, that uh, people... People really appreciate when you put, like, a lot of work into something. And it's just, uh, you know, some silly, silly cartoons. I don't think so, but, you know, some most people do, I suppose. Silly, silly cartoons that I take seriously. And I am happy that people, other people, somebody else than me takes that shit seriously too. And appreciates it. From the, from the cloak clan. Yes. The renowned, well-known cloak clan. Thanks, uh, I, I suppose, Jonathan Benag Vedis. Actually, I never. I was surprised many years ago when people started to recognize my work because I never, I never tried it to be. I never tried it to make it any anything unique. Actually, I was trying to copy other styles. You know, if I were to draw April O'Neil, for example, I would do my best to make sure she looks like she does in the cartoons. Uh, but I, I couldn't do it. But I still try it. And that would, that, that's what I would usually do, you know, just try to copy other artists. But eventually, I guess, people started to just recognize my work somehow. Which was a surprise for me. Oh, uh, okay, first of all, I would really appreciate it if you guys would stick to English. And second of all, air porn, you're gonna have a timeout if you don't stop being an S. Or maybe you're gonna go on your timeout right now. that even when an artist is copying already set style they put their flair uh, yeah purity purity thing that's usually how it is actually um, you know in the art schools um, they um, they make you copy a lot of uh, other artists drawings and styles so that you could learn how to do things properly Hello Silver Dragon, yeah you can download episode 7 from my website, of course.
Alex Gorshnyov, you should not. Um, if you don't, um, you know. If you uh, if you don't speak English, um, um, there is nothing I can do for you. <laughs> So, go study some English, seriously. I cannot imagine how sad your life would be if, uh, if you, you know, don't speak English, seriously. What, what the hell? What is the matter with you, Alex Gorshnev? Go learn some ABCs and shit. Yeah, I know what he says, I can read Russian, man. But I prefer to keep my chat free of anything but English. If, if you don't mind, guys. I think it's very rude when people start do this, even though I did it myself in, a, in the past sometimes. Uh, when you have, you know, international group of people and uh, a couple of them are from, I don't know, from France or whatever and they just switch to their own language and start talking to each other and uh, the rest of the group feels excluded. I don't know, it doesn't feel nice. I know people do that, but I just don't like it. And, you know, English is, is not like Chinese or whatever, just fucking... Just give it a try! So yeah, man, uh, Alex Gorshnev, nothing, nothing personal. Uh, you know, if you, I can understand if you don't want to speak English, like, uh, yeah, you only need one language, right? If you, if you live in Russia and you speak Russian, why would you need anything else? I mean, that's probably what people think. So yeah, it's a choice you should make for yourself. I'm not judging, but still, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm gonna stick to English in my chat. I only speak Russian to my family and friends. To my friends in Bratva. Oh, sign language? Purity sign? Yeah, I used to know how to spell my name in sign language, that's all. <laughs> Just a few letters. How did you know about Renpai and what you use before. Uh, Paul, before I switched to Renpy, I was using Flash, Macromedia Flash. It was horrible. I don't like to talk about it, about this, uh, this, um, this part of my life. <laughs> I try to suppress those memories, but yeah, I worked with Flash, Macromedia Flash. And then I tried Renpy, I just downloaded uh, the game called a game called Elevator and it, it blew my mind. It was very simple. They had uh, all the codes in free access. I don't know, something clicked in me when I tried Renpy for the first time. I just knew it's my thing and uh, I am very happy. Even years after, I'm still very happy with Renpy and I don't want to do to switch to anything else. Um, Alex Gorshnev, 
you should not be uh, afraid or scared to use English if you know some because if you use it you're gonna uh, you're gonna get better at it I know how you feel uh, I've seen it many times uh, I went to language schools both for English and Japanese and uh, I see how people are very shy and sometimes embarrassed at first to speak a uh, different language uh, but you, ne you need to relax and make mistakes it's okay it's all part of the process I mean if you want to if you want to communicate with people who don't understand your um, first language or whatever Yeah, yeah, uh, you, you go, Wallis. The one with the detective, yes. It's a short game, but it's, it is well made, and uh, I really like it. It has like one character and just a couple of backgrounds. Uh, but I, when I played it, I thought, wow, this is simple enough, and it is fun, and um, I totally could do something like that. So... That was my inspiration. And also when you download Renpai, they have this small game called, uh, already built in, uh, called The Question. You can play that game and then you can look at the codes. And uh, it makes it easier for you to understand how to code and shit. Dum da dum dum dum. Uh, yes, you pick Ovalis. It is well written, uh, the elevator game, I mean. And um, it is just uh, well polished, too, you know. It's just this neat, neat little game. Which I enjoyed. And which inspired me to create something of my own. Paul, I used to live in Japan, so. It was hard to live in Japan and not speak Japanese. <laughs> yes, purity, totally. You should be asleep already. I don't know why you're still up. Um, you know, go go get some rest. Thank you for uh, for showing up and for everything else you're doing for me, like playing my games and stuff. Thank you. Now go get some rest. Caesar, I like your salad. <laughs> Caesar salad, get it? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep awake. Okay, 
This, this stupid thing requires a different approach. Yes, Pigma Micron is the best, man. I I hope I will never have to work with anything different. You can't really buy these pants in Russia, so uh, this is my constant fear <laughs> that I will run out of pants. Like I said before, I am very, very particular with my art, with my drawing supplies. Thinking with something different would make me unhappy. Use ink has graphic tablet skill. Use ink has graphic. Use ink has graphic tablet skills. Use ink. Has <laughs> Paul, I am sorry. English is my not first language. You will have to rephrase whatever you're trying to say because I don't understand. Yeah, this should work. Silver Dragon. Uh, Ekabur.com for my country is blocked. What? No, that cannot be true, man. Uh, I, I, highly, I highly... I have big doubts. There's just something probably wrong with your browser. But you know, you can always download um, Opera Internet Explorer, wait, browser, <laughs> and use FreeVPN VPN, and uh, you will have access to anything you want. We have a lot of blocked websites in Russia, but you know you can work around it. Yeah, we used to have free internet in Russia like five years ago there were no such thing as blocked website but it is slowly changing sadly oh fuck the face I forgot the most important thing Uh, 
I don't talk out loud much in, in my everyday life, and apparently... <laughs> apparently my, my throat is not prepared for... for too much talking. So I need to take a candy to butter things up. Well, Yukiko, I think it is inevitable that corporations will try to limit our freedom everywhere, like globally, in every country. I have VPN in a go to the, it says to my IP address is on black. Uh, Silver Dragon, I don't, I have no idea what is going on with you. <laughs> that is very weird. Um, but if you need, just say what you want, like which game you're trying to download and somebody will just give you the link, I'm sure. Do you use graphics tablet to draw? Uh, not for some. Oh, I see. I got it. Um, Paul. So no. If I can help it, if I have a choice, I use with a. I draw with a pencil. I draw with a pencil. I ink with a ink and the brush and Sakura Micron pens. And then I scan the, the drawing and color it with Photoshop. Uh, but you know that's just how I do things. Different people have uh, different approaches to this, different techniques. It doesn't matter what kind of technique you're using as long as it works, as long as you're pleased with the result. I tried different, many different ones in the past. And this is the one that currently, currently working best for me. Maybe I'll change it in the future, <laughs> the way I do th things. But right now that's how it is. I hate to draw with with uh, with my with a computer. I don't think it's possible for me. I mean, it's possible if I get used to it, but I don't want to force myself. <laughs> you keep going. Yuko, Yuko Wales. I don't know about that. Um, governments always try to put a lot of pressure on uh, adult entertainment because, you know, because they cannot control it. And uh, it makes a lot of money and shit. So if they would decide to shut me down, they would. Easy. I'm just not big enough. Guys, can somebody be awesome and share a link to my, uh, to what? To Magic Shop Episode 7 from my website in the chat. So that uh, Silver Dragon, our buddy who is struggling against oppression and cannot even accept my freak ac access, cannot even access my freaking website. So, you know. In times like this, we should help each other. So, could someone just share the link? If nobody does it, I'll do it myself. Don't worry, man. But I'm sure somebody will step up. And I think we're done with this fucker. But he may require slight surgery to make his head a little bit bigger maybe
it feels really shitty when um, you get locked out of uh, some website, you know. <laughs> it almost feels like you're being oppressed, which I, I suppose you are in a way. When Pornhub got uh, banned in Russia, uh, before I figure out, figured out how to use like backdoors and shit, VPNs and stuff, uh, it didn't feel nice. I was like, give me my porn, how dare you. And I didn't even use Pornhub before that, but knowing that it's been taken from me, I, I, I wanted it. I wanted to use it. So yeah, we should help each other, I think. Like the true rebels that we are. Fuck the establishment. Uh. <laughs> I like it how John uh, Jonathan Benavides is saying, okay, I will try to get it for you. Like it's, uh, you know, such a difficult task and he's going on a mission. He has wish me luck, man. I will get it for you. No matter the cost. Good luck, Jonathan. We are rooting for you. Okay, I'm done with this guy, really. Yeah, but uh, not like a challenge is not epic enough. It's like he's trying to procure some sensitive information or something. Yeah, dude, I hope Mega is not blocked for you. Hey, I also watch that Arrow TV show. Even though it's ridiculous. I watch uh, The Arrow, I watch The Flash, and um, The Flash, The Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, which is fucking stupidest show ever, and uh, Supergirl, which is also crap. But I watch them all and I enjoy them. <laughs> I don't know, they put me to sleep. I usually watch one of one episode before I go to bed. <laughs> yeah, this this kind of thing used to be like only for real nerds, you know, the superhero stuff. But now it is mainstream, so all these stories are also mainstream. Supergirl is like freaking I don't know, Sex and the City, it's all about like who is whose boyfriend and shit. Yeah, they all look like uh, ridiculous. <laughs> Aladdin? You mean? Uh, well, I would watch uh, Aladdin 
live action TV show. Thank you, Silver Dragon. I, I really appreciate your kind feedback. I am glad you liked it. You liked my uh, you like my work. <laughs> Dandelion. What do you see as your greatest motivation to continue? Um, I don't know. That I did not achieve what I wanted to achieve. That I did not fulfill my dreams yet. I, I don't know. I am afraid that uh, the younger version of me, if he, if he were to see me, uh, you know, giving up, he would just get pissed at me and beat me up. If it makes any sense to you. When I was little, I had some really big ideas for my life. So I don't know. I feel embarrassed if I start changing my views now there are some things that I really want and that I don't have so that is my motivation Also anger, you know? Anger is a great uh, motivator for me. I get angry a lot. I mean, not that I yell at people or anything.
I don't know, to stay motivated, you may you need to make sure you're not a very happy person, which I am not. You cannot uh, you cannot be happy and motivated, I think. You need to be really, really unhappy about something and then, then you try to change it. And meanwhile you are pissed <laughs> and hate everything <laughs> and everyone. That is my secret. There, I dispensed, I dispensed, dispensed some knowledge on you. Stay angry. Stay busy. Yes, that is a very good point. Unless you reach the point where you just cannot take it anymore and you break. Or, you know, like in my case, all the tension and stress is causing my... Uh, causing me, like, problems with my neck and my back. Because uh, of all the tension I have there in my muscles. And, you know... Sometimes it is important to relax sometimes if you can. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, you're gonna have health problems. You need to stay vigilant with your rest time also. Yes, uh, Cesar. That's usually how it is. I like finished, clean look uh, to my to the drawing. Sometimes I do it differently, but if I have a choice, I prefer to make sure that. The pencil drawing is as clean as possible. I just like it that way. <laughs> well, I did not print it. Although, I suppose, if uh, for whatever reason you, you would need to do that, yeah, you could print. Uh, you, could, you could print a drawing in blue or whatever and then ink it and then just scan it and turn off the blue channel in Photoshop. And you will have yourself a clean clean drawing. Yes, light table is something that I never had, but always wish I had. I use just a uh, window. <laughs> I use poor people's light table, which is window.
Uh, well, good for you, Cesar. You know, everyone's approach to this uh, is unique. Come to think of it, I would probably also don't mind to have my pencil drawings and the inked versions. Yes, Yuko, and uh, you know, good luck with your work. And if you look for motivation, you can always um, watch some motivational videos or listen to motivational tapes on YouTube or whatever. That's what I do sometimes. It's helpful, actually, very helpful. So, well, anyway, good luck with your project. How many hours per day I draw? I don't know, it depends. I work a lot. Not as much as I used to, but still a lot. I barely do anything but, but uh, work, actually. I, um, I watch two TV shows a day. I watch one with my friend. Um, well, we have like this ritual when we watch an episode and then um, I watch one before I go to sleep and I have about two hours or so for video games and the rest is usually the work, well, apart from, you know, necessary, necessarily things like going to gym or to buy groceries and stuff. I am very serious about this shit and um, I don't like celebrate or I even I don't even celebrate my birthday. <laughs> I just don't care. Nothing is more important than than my work. Nothing. All humanity and the entire fucking world can burn for all I care. Because while it's burning, I will be working. I hope you guys can hear the music. A look at Silver Dragon. He has a car. Mm-hmm. 
Paul, I know, I know that. <laughs> Look at Akabur, he has a dream and he's burning. It was funny, at least to me. Yes, I do have a dream, but I don't have a car. Don't even have a motorcycle, although I wish I did. I wish I was. I was a cool dude on the motorcycle. All Russian chicks would be mine then. Yes, Paul, I know. It's all good, don't worry. We are all friends here. Paul, you said uh, that your English is not your first language. Uh, which, lang which language is your first language? If you don't mind tell, telling me, where are you from? Hello, Terje Samuelson. Yes, Paul, where are you from? But you know, you don't have to answer. I'm just... I'm just trying to make a small talk. Conversation. It is totally cool if you don't want to tell me shit. What is RF? Russian Federation? The Republic of Russia. Also known as Soviet Union. The Russian fair. Hey, <laughs> cool man. Well, your name is Paul, so I thought maybe you're from. Um, I don't know, for some reason I thought you're from Italy. But you are my buddy, comrade from Russia. Good to know, good to know. Yes, beer, vodka, and prostitutes called Natasha. That is what our homeland is popular for. Also, AK-47. Well, the time is like um, uh, the west, western hemisphere, or whatever it's called, is asleep so we're gonna have mostly like people from Europe I would assume on this chat people 
who are from uh, you know more more or less same time zone. Slay Radio number one. Norway. Thank you, Mr. Crypto. That's um, that is a radio. Actually. Um, so, yeah, we are just listening to the radio. Hey, Slovakia! Paul, I don't know who, who are you asking this. I would assume that you are talking to me. And my first language is Russian. And that is, I think is a well-known fact. But you should not expect me to talk Russian, Russian to you because I only speak Russian to my family and friends. And my lovers. mostly imaginary how many girl girls are you planning to be in the game uh, you are probably talking about space channel I would assume uh, and um, it's not like I have everything planned out already you know a lot I will start with my favorite ones but then I will be adding like more obscure ones should be fun I am really really looking forward to have like all sorts of characters together make them participate in the like some events together should be fun should be really fun uh, at least I hope so we'll see Hello, my, my Korean friend. I still don't know uh, your name. If you... If you uh, will not give me your name, I will just... make up something for you. Because I cannot... Unfortunately, I cannot read Korean rules. Yes, it would be fun to have Lola and also Iris. <laughs> to have Iris on a spaceship, that would be a, a, a challenge for me, but a fun one. I don't think it will happen soon, but eventually. Eventually Iris should join the crew. Jung Won, okay, nice to meet you. Mm, yeah, I, I, I wanted to say that I that your name sounds familiar, but no, I don't think so. So, John Won, welcome to the stream. Um, I don't like spicy food, but my buddy Smersh really likes kimchi. So, and it's a it's a Korean dish. So maybe maybe you would be interested to know that he really really likes kimchi. Not me though. Sorry, but I don't like kimchi. Well. 
Will Genie or the old man be able to have fun with them too? I also look forward to Hermione arriving there. Well, Samuelson, um, I will see what I can do. I also agree that it would be really fun to have some sort of dating feature for every girl uh, to make it more personal. So I will see what I can do. working on right now on the stream. Mr. Crypto, I am working on some drawings for uh, upcoming release of Bro Broken Heart Bardello. And I have a lot of work ahead of me, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. So I will be inking these things on YouTube and then I will have like six CGs which are which contain naughty bits like like tits and uh, I will not be able to stream that here so I will be streaming on my channel on picarto.tv in case you're interested uh, yes mr. crypto there is the priority now this is the only this is the only thing I am currently working on but as soon as I am done with it I am getting to work back to working on Space Channel, Star Channel, Space Channel is a different game. I am not good English so I can understand some little. <laughs> well, I uh, forgot, I forgot your name already, I'm sorry, John, John Won, um, you know, it's okay, as long as you can understand me a little bit. As long as you can understand enough uh, to play my games, that is more than enough. You know, thank you. Thank you for playing my games. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Not talking well. I, I don't know much about Korean food myself, so uh, yes, Caesar. My Picardo channel is. Picarto.com or oh, Picarto.tv slash Akabur and that is where I usually stream. That is where I stream not safe for for work stuff. Okay, his face now. Uh, yes, Mr. Crypto, I figured it will be easier for some people to watch the stream on YouTube. So, that is what I am doing. I am doing everything in my power to make it as comfortable for you guys as possible.
and the world ship sec is popping during the day. I, I know, I know. I had a friend from Korea and uh, he taught me he was always using that word so ship psyche ship psyche yeah <laughs> also i know soren he because you know you cannot uh, you need to know something other than cursing Soranhe means I love you, in case you don't know. I would always go to, you know, to, to Korean girls. And I know how to say some words in your language. Soranhe. Fucking idiot. No, it was fun. Yeah, I had a friend uh, from Russia, well, my, my Russian friend, and there was this American slash Japanese girl, well, she's like half-half, and she was like, I speak some Russian, and she starts cursing, and then she says, I love you, in Russian, to him, and he's like, but that is impossible, we just met. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's usually what, pe what people want to learn first. How to curse and how to say naughty things. And then how to say, like, I love you and shit that you can say to the girls. Or boys. Bye, Mr. Crypto. Thank you for showing up. John, shit, I, forget, I always forget your name. John Wong, was it? I will just call you Korean John, if you don't mind. So, Korean John, um, I am working on drawing for Broken Heart Bardello. Broken Heart Bardello is a game created by a friend of mine. And after I'm done with this, I will be working on Star Channel 34. <laughs> Do you think to translate your games in another language? Most certainly not. I don't have time to do that, but maybe somebody will do it. Uh, but uh, if your language is Russian, I think my games were translated into Russian already. Uh, so yeah, if, if the language you're looking for is Russian, you shouldn't worry. You can easily download Russian versions of my games, I know that. Even though I did not participate in the translation nor did I approve of it, but it, exi it exists. Yay, Mr. O, thank you. That is all I need to know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Just say nice things. Mr. RPC. Uh, yes, eventually. That is actually my main goal, to establish a studio. Uh, but I can assure you it is not happening anytime soon because of the reasons. Mm, Korean John, I don't know what you mean. What, what is it for you? Everything is, I do is for you, Korean John. I live for your, for your entertainment. I pledge my life to your entert entertainment. And... And stuff.
Hello, Lex Johnson. Welcome to the awesome stream of mine. Oh, this character, well, like I said, it's from Broken Heart Bardello. Cory and John, I even gonna type this for you. I'm gonna type for Korean. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna copy paste your name. So just Google Broken Heart Bardello. That is what this drawing is for. Why are you using ink? Because I can. I do whatever the hell I want and I want to use ink. That is just how much of a of a rebel I am. There. Done. I always wonder why you doing this in such a detail way in real life. Wait, in real, why not everything by Wacom tablet? There is some trick. Yes, there is some trick, but I'm not telling you. That is just how I like doing things. I am I am very old school, very set in my ways, and also don't give a shit. No, dude, it's not sunny. Uh, Corey and John, it's um, it's cloudy actually. Cloudy weather. Which is good because I don't like sun much. Not a big fan of sun. Well, different techniques have different feel to them. Drawing with, with uh, Wacom is just one of the many techniques you could use. Uh, thankfully, I have to... I can do whatever the hell I want. Uh, but, you know, if you work for a company as a designer or an illustrator or whatever, 
uh, you may not have such um, such um, privilege you may not have such privilege and um, they will probably tell you how to draw how to do things how to draw what uh, what program even to use so thanks to you guys I don't have to worry about that I can do things the way I like them okay this guy is done I think and we have one more character where is no wait done with this one okay we have new costume for for our main character this should not take long Mr. Oh, I don't need. I have. I have no need to sell my drawings, but if I could, I would just give them for free to people. Uh, because I just, you know, after a while, I just throw them away. And um, I tried in the past. I tried to send them to people. Uh, but first, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time to do that. To go to post office, you know, to to seal all the envelopes and shit. And second of all, Russian Post is not famous for being very reliable. And uh, about 50% of the shit I send never makes it to the destination. So eventually I just gave up. But yeah, I used to send out my drawings for free to my patrons. I would gladly give away all my drawings because I have no use for them and, you know, I don't like throwing them away, but, like I said, I have no use for them, so they just take space. Uh, Korean John, I am mostly self-taught, although I did study design and attend several uh, drawing um, what do you call them studios drawing studios live drawing classes that sort of thing but yeah I'm mostly self-taught yes the glow the glove is helping me to draw and it is it contains magic inside of it and it is a source of my power actually nobody knows that but I cannot shit I cannot draw shit without without my glove on Yes, Korean John, pencil is very thin. <laughs> yes, Paul, I know. Russian Post is evil. They stole shit from me on many occasions. I even have video about it on, on YouTube, on my channel. <laughs> uh, the glove actually protects the paper from grease. Uh, your your hands are actually very greasy and after a while yeah, yeah, yeah your paper the paper gets dirty and you cannot ink well when it gets dirty and greasy so it helps You know, Russia is just another country. Every country is different.
Well, stereotypes exist for a reason. Usually they are based on something. I met a lot of Russian guys uh, outside of Russia who were like, you know, they, they were exactly like you see them in the Hollywood movies. I was really surprised to see people like, the, like that exist in real life, <laughs> but they do. Oh, did it? Yeah, I have a beard um, lately. <laughs> I need to shave it off, but I'm too busy working. Oh, maybe it was not my beard, but my my hair. Come to think of it, it was probably my hair. Uh, maybe I should wear some sort of thing. There, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this cute sleeping thing to make sure my hair doesn't get into into the camera. Sleeping mask, it's called. I know. Yo, Bamboozly! Do you follow development of any other Patreon game, a porn game? Yes, actually, I follow quite a few people. Quite a few. Ah, uh, Paul, you got me. My beard. The actual source of all my power is my beard. That's enough, Paul. Stop... Uh, stop revealing my secrets. Hello, Yago Race. Hey, Yago, just passing by to say thank you for your amazing work. Thank you for your support, man. If you're not working as an artist, what other kind of job would you be working with? Oh, dude, that's a scary, scary, scary idea. I don't even want to think about it. Drawing is everything for me. 
so I don't even want to speculate about that if you don't mind oh definitely Cesar I follow something unlimited and I played the game and uh, you probably know that I take a lot of inspiration from it uh, the whole idea with like this dancing, stripping and special thing you see in Space Trainer <laughs> Space Trainer Star Channel um, It was inspired by something unlimited The only thing that worries me that the guys are trying to do something really special with very little resources um, it's getting too complex, I think. I wish they would keep things simple. But that is my only complaint. Yes, Something Unlimited is one of the very few games that I enjoy. I mean, if we are talking about like this Patreon sort of adult games. I will also probably enjoy Iris Quest, but God knows when it's gonna be released. Train my brain with your Russian runes, huh? Uh, no, I did not register any such things, and I would appreciate it if you could use English. If you could use your English voice in this chat. Thanks, Paul. I appreciate it. Well, low one, to your question again, um, it's hard to register any such things when most of your characters are, you know, parody of already existing characters. And I, I don't, I don't think I am big enough to worry about like creating my own trademarks or anything. I actually try to stay away from all that bureaucracy because it's, it, it hinders the creative process a lot. It's not like I signed an agreement with Dacher or anything. I just, you know, contacted my friend and asked him, could you do this for me? And he was like, sure. 
and that's it. That's how you do things. Bureaucracy is for big companies. And yes, Lex Johnson, it is hard for me to speak when I'm drawing, but thankfully I am inking right now. So it is easier, but still, yeah. Uh, when I talk, I work slowly and not as um, efficiently as I would, I, as I would normally <laughs> if I didn't have to talk. But I like to can like chat with you guys when I have the opportunity because I only have that opportunity when I'm working on things like this, like broken heart bordello stuff when I'm inking. Um, mm. Don't worry, Jack, uh, Alex Johnson. The whole purpose of this stream is not for me to work, but to communicate with you guys. So. If you don't mind me asking, there is some cartoon character that you want to use on your game that you have. Um, yes, I Iago Reyes. That would be... I have quite a few actually. Uh, Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed um, Roger Rabbit. Uh, I want to work with her. And um, Charlie from, from Biker Mice from Mars. I want to work with her as well. Uh, I am sure I could come up with a few more. So, yeah, there are quite a few and I will be able to finally work with those girls uh, in Star Channel, I hope. That was the main purpose for, uh, for building that game the way, the way it was built so that I would finally have a chance to work with all those different characters without having to dedicate entire game to one particular particular character. Well, la one people with ideas you know there are a lot of ideas out there but putting those ideas into work that takes like skill so unless you wish to work on your whatever you have in mind it's probably not never gonna happen if you say you cannot draw well you better start saving up money for hiring an artist or maybe looking for artists who would be willing to work for free for you or something but you know I, I'm sorry to break you to this, but break this to you. But there is nothing special about having an idea. We all have ideas. Fulfilling that idea now that is interesting. That is uh, that takes work. That is something special. But ideas are dime a dozen. Uh, yes, I do love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I do love Aladdin. Uh, later, do you want to make animations or something? Uh, actually, I always wanted to be an animator when I was younger. Uh, but these days I know that my place, my talent, let's call it that, will be better spent on games which maybe will contain contain animations eventually or at some point but still i think games are very personal and very special experience that you cannot achieve with just animations so if i if i if i if i, if I have an opportunity if i had a choice i would like to create a game with animation in it Jessica Rabbit would be amazing. Yes, she would be. Um, I, I am really, really looking forward to working <laughs> with her assets. Um, in work, in your work, or you move, you, 
In your work, you more time sitting. How about sport? Oh, definitely, man. Keeping in shape is very important when you have a, a job like this, when you sit on your ass all the time. So, yeah, I do. I do what I can. I go to gym, I do yoga, and still I have a lot of problems with my neck and my back, uh, my spine. Um, so swimming also helps. Dude, I'm 30 plus years old. <laughs> um, it is time to take care, take a good care of your body, otherwise you're gonna have a lot of problems, yes. There's, you know, we are all people, we are getting older and shit. And if you do something professionally, you will have problems associated with that con particular profession. Which for designers and artists is headaches, back pains, um, problems associated with vision, like eyesight, which I don't have problems with yet, thankfully. So yeah, keeping, keeping in shape is important, no matter what you do. You need to be able to perform, to work efficiently. So yeah, I'm pretty buff. <laughs> no, I'm not, but I am in a decent shape. Uh, Korean John, Zon, Zon is awesome, especially his older work. It was very inspirational for me also. I mean, his older Flash animations from like back in the day. And Lex John, yes, I do like Zon. Um, what else, what else, what else? If I offered cooperation, how would you look at this? No thanks, man, I don't do cooperations ever. I am, I'm not very good with people. I tried it a few times and it never worked out. Never worked out. So I try to work on my own because otherwise all kinds of problems arise. People disappoint me, I disappoint people. There is just too much drama. Uh, in your side message, at least 20 years old of age. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, my website is very old. Shit. Yeah, I need to, I need to change a few things there. Does it really say 20, 21 years old? God damn. Yeah, I am in my 30s. I cannot really even say in my early 30s anymore. Um, is it a knock-knock joke, Lex Johnson? I hope not. I am not very good with those. What is the hardest thing about the drawing process? Um, uh, you know, the desire to get everything right and getting upset about uh, not getting something right, you know? You know how self-tortured creative types usually are because we don't get something right. And also the mood swings. Mood swings are a bitch because sometimes you think you're awesome and sometimes you think you suck and um, yeah that, that's the main major thing for me to ignore that, you know, to ignore that and just keep on working and still even now sometimes I cannot get things right and it is really upsetting so, learning to work through that always difficult for me. It was difficult and it is still difficult. <laughs> what else? Tell me... Wait. Uh, that will be a little secret for those who watch this. Yes, Alex, <laughs> Alex Johnson. <laughs> Although this stream will be saved uh, on, on my YouTube channel, 
And uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure how I feel about that because I think I tend to overshare when I when I do streams. Ah, my fucking back. Uh huh. Caesar says, with a friend, we have a Rentai Trainer project about the hunchback of Notre Dame with Esmeralda. Oh, dude, that's cool. I would play that. Uh, Quasimodo, blah 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 blah. Well, good luck, man. Just you know, try to keep things simple, especially for your first game. Otherwise, uh, you will freaking never finish it. Keep it as simple as possible. Keep in mind that you are just learning, that you have very limited resources. And, uh, you know, good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Welcome to the world of suffering. Well, Lawan, I, I never said I, I was not from Russia. Dude, I was born and bred in Russia. Suffered through fall of the Soviet Union, all sorts of shit. Damn, I have crazy stories to tell. For my memoirs. Well, politics is crazy everywhere, Korean John. In Russia also, there is always some bullshit going on just to, you know, distract people from actual problems. Well, it is true for every country, I suppose. Cesar, no. <laughs> Don't laugh, I, I am being serious. Keep your shit simple. Otherwise, you're gonna suffer a lot. You can always make things more complex later, but start with something simple. Well, comics are... I actually miss drawing comics. I wish I had time to do both. Like, to draw comics and to work on the games. Well, eventually, one of those days. One of those days in the future. When I establish my own studio, maybe I will have time to work on something. Like, on some comics. Maybe. For now, it is what it is. The Rampai part, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like when I code, I, uh, I cannot I cannot talk when I code and um, I feel uh, I feel the need to be entertaining during these streams and uh, I cannot be entertaining when I code. And it's boring too. I use the same shit, it's like very tedious stuff very basic you won't be able to learn anything new from from watching me work I think if you're curious you can always look inside one of my games I would not recommend it though hello Zono Oh, your friend does... Oh, dude, okay, I misunderstood you completely. So your friend is a programmer. When, well, that is good for you. Less work for you to do. <sighs> oh, definitely, La One. Good luck. But, you know, don't expect success to come soon. Uh, I hope it will, but... Usually it takes some time. Just keep doing your thing. 
eventually it's gonna work out if you're if you're ready to work enough and sacrifice enough No, no, it's cool, Cesar. I just misunderstood you, that's all. Okay, I think oh no, no, almost, almost missed this part. Exactly. Uh, what Caesar says is uh, exactly right. People say like um, that uh, you know you don't really work on your success; you attract it. That success success is looking for a good place to stay. So just keep doing your thing, and uh, you know success will find you. Okay, done. Success. When do you finish Princess Trainer and which trainer? Korean John, I already did finish both. So. And you can download them from my website. Will you try to do game using RPG Maker after? I don't think so. Did I did I say that I will? Why did you assume that I have such plans? I am familiar with RPG Maker. But I don't think I will be ever working with it because I like Renpai. I prefer Renpai. Uh, okay, done with this one. Done. And we have only one more piece left, which is this one. New version of the monk. Yes, uh, Samuelson. The costume is actually for... Uh, supposed to be a handball uniform because next release of Broken Heart Bardello will be all about handball. Don't ask me why. That is just what is what Smersh decided to do.
I'm just doing what he tells me. Renpai is better for the content he makes. Yes, also Renpai is better for everything. Renpai is the only truth of this world. For me. <laughs> Do you watch some YouTubers? Yes, I do. Do you have time for that? Actually, yes. You know, the, the YouTubers I do watch some. Um, especially the people people who make short videos. I don't know. Well, let's check. Let's see who am I sub subscribed to. Um, Purity Scene, Canada, Canada Gen 3 Bearing, PlayStation Access, Chris Stockman. Screen Junkies, Hunter Avalon, Censored Gaming, Good Mythical Morning, Matthew Santaro, Santoro, uh, Game Ranks, Space and Universe, Crash Zone, PlayStation Lifestyle, Machinima, Meditation Relax Music, Be Inspired, um, Crunchyroll, uh, what else, what else, Nintendo, Fitness, Whatever, Saibo, whatever, Wood Rocket, <laughs> um, Atlas USA, um, <laughs> Sega America, Tracy Scoops, and more other other channels like quite a few Play Asia. So yeah, I, sub I subscribed to quite a few. Um, YouTubers, YouTube channels. Ah, oh, shit, my neck. Because it is a great name, a great game done, Japanese manga style, blue, 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 and you are one. Oh, thanks, man, I appreciate it, but still, you're not going to lure me in to working with. Uh, RPG Maker with your flattery. Flattery does not power this battery, civilian. There was a quote from Racket Life. <laughs> Racket Life. Racket Ralph. Disney cartoon. Which I did enjoy immensely. Batteries don't. Flattery don't power this battery, civilian. Oh, I would like to add that hot space spaceship trooper girl to the roster of one of my games. Thanks, man, uh, Yutis. But you know, usually when you see something done like effortlessly, <laughs> um, it means. Uh, there, there have been a lot of try and error and a lot of failed attempts. I've been doing this for a very long time, so... <sighs> Believe me, I was not born knowing how to do this. I just learned. But I appreciate your compliments, man. Thank you. So, I suppose Flattery does? power this battery. Uh, Lex Johnson, I don't know, I didn't say Blin. Blin, blin, blin. I, I did say it now. Maybe you are from the future. Oh shit, my neck. Uh, well, Samuelson, good luck uh, with your uh, dentist appointment. Health is important, so yeah, go take care of that. Thank you for showing up, man. I appreciate it. 
Oh, no ways. Really? Hentai Foundry is blocked in uh, in South Korea? Dude, that's, that's harsh. It's not even blocked in Russia. Thanks, man, Yago, Reis. Um, and you know, it's inspira inspirational, at least for me. When I see other people working hard, I uh, it helps me to, to, to stay focused and concentrate. So... It is beneficial for everyone. Hello, Raymond uh, Cyro Deal. Thank you. Thank you for uh, for for your support and for playing my games. My mind games. Zonor, I am mostly self-taught, but I did take drawing classes and I also attended some design programs, but for the most part I, I had to learn myself everything I know just through trial and error. Yeah, I know Lex Johnson, though those Russian runes it is difficult to eradicate them. Well, does what does Zonor? I no, it's not like I was born with this ability, you know, with with this like skill. You should just go take a look at my older drawings. But you know, I never give up, and I still think that I I am not. I could be much. I could be much much better at this if I. Um, if I had a chance to like spend, you know, several years just to study art, like life drawing, paintings, all that shit, which I would later use, of course, to still like draw in this style because that is what I like most. But um, it would be way more diff easier for me, and I could create freaking amazing things if, if I had more if I was better I'm never satisfied <laughs> I want to be better
Dude, that is a good saying, uh, Lance Murray. I like it, yeah. Black belt is a white belt that never gave up. Very nice. I will remember that. Another good one from Lex Johnson. No! What do you want from me? Okay, give me a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Uh, uh, how long have you been painting? All my life, man. Uh, shit. Excuse me. send the boys round so yeah I've been drawing for a very long time <laughs> always always had an interest in animation comics that sort of thing but I was born in a very small city very small town and uh, I could not really go to art school or anything so, yeah, for, for a very long time. Uh, for a very long time I sucked at it, but I still... Uh, this was the only thing I really, really enjoyed doing. Enjoyed. So... I have a degree in law and legislation, believe it or not. I've been studying it for five years. There is something I am sure you did not know about me. Ah, my fucking back. <sighs> yes, Zonor. So that, that that should show you the, the the long way that I went from you know from being a shitty artist to being a not so shitty artist. Drawing porn help fuck my life. Da. So, uh, drawing drawing porn helps if you want it to be interesting. You have to draw multiple characters interacting. Um, okay, I see too many artists that just get get good at one or two poses and never push themselves. Well, I suppose it's true. 
Um. Ah! For real? Yeah. Oh. Moshi moshi. Okay, guys, one second. Studied English. Uh, well, he's what the lexicon is pretty big, that's why I think he studied English. <laughs> uh, hello, retard, rollist, CSGO. If you don't mind, I am just going to call you retard for short. Hello, retard. No, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not trying to insult you or anything, but your nickname is, is curious. Uh, hello, yes, welcome to the stream. Um, J Lex Johnson, yes, 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 yes. Uh, actually, yes, you just. I have. I used to have some knowledge in legislation and all that shit, but I never enjoyed it and I haven't worked a day in my life as a lawyer or whatever and uh, to be honest so many years later I don't even remember <laughs> I don't remember anything um. <sighs> I am not American so I could not say simplex what could not you say Americans have accent man it's called American accent the only people who don't have accent are British people. Well, technically speaking. Would you like some tea, Mr. Potter? Miss Hermione? That is my English accent, by the way. John, I speak some Russian, I speak some English, and a little bit of Japanese. <laughs> that is all. My stupid, my stupid head will not fit another language. No way. Three, three languages is enough. Well, Lance Murray, I'm sure there, there are like some British dialects or whatever well unless you're unless you you know take some training like linguistic training uh, it is very hard <laughs> to hide your accent you just open your mouth well people actually in the past sometimes would confuse me um, uh, sometimes they would get it right, they like, are you from Russia? But sometimes they would say things like, are you from Italy? Or just ask me where am I, where am I from because they could not identify the accent. Yeah, very, very, very freaking long time ago, I was working in uh, this Japanese cafe in Japan, and um, this guy just comes up to me, and um, well, he didn't hear me talking, so I suppose just from my looks, he assumes that I am Italian, and he just starts speaking Italian to me. 
<laughs> and I'm like, no? And he switches to English and like, aren't you Italian? I'm, no, I don't understand you, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Would you like some teammate? Bloody hell. I watched Harry Potter too many times. Well, to be honest, dude, if, like for people who are not very familiar with the accents, I think I would I, I could confuse Canadian accent with uh, with uh, Australian accent. Although I'm sure even inside Canada and uh, and Corey <laughs> and uh, Australia um, there are like different dialects and shit. Okay, I really need to make this call. One second. Central Australia. That's funny. Fuck, it doesn't work. Stas Mironov. Um, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Now, if you could switch to English, I would appreciate it even more. I don't want to people feel excluded in my streams. So we all agree to speak English. Even we if we are not good at it. Well, you know, uh, Lago Race. TH is a bitch. The TH sound is a most difficult, difficult thing for uh, I don't know, for me at least. Fucking my my, my tongue gets gets stuck between my teeth all the time when I try to say TH. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck. It takes just too much work to speak, uh, to pronounce uh, the, the letters properly. But if you don't, people will, will not be able to understand you. So you better. Oh, cool, man. Good for you. Now you are just... <laughs> okay. I don't know, I, I feel bad, you know, I cannot really even like make fun of your freaking nickname, dude, when when your nickname is Retard. What can I say? Are you a Retard? Oh, you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> so... So I should not joke about your nickname, I suppose. I'm sorry guys, this one person is trying to contact me and uh, just give me a second. So the rescuers with the mouse, yeah, that was a good cartoon. Dude, Mr. O or Mr. Zero, no, I think it's O. Uh, I would like to make a video like that, of course, and um, maybe I will eventually. I also think it would be fun to make a uh, draw your life video, you know, how people do it sometimes when they talk about their lives and like supply it with these funny drawings uh, but a thing like that would take time and I really hate to sp spend my time on anything but 
uh, working. So eventually, yeah, maybe I will create a video like that. But for now, for now I need to stick to my work schedule. Who was your favorite Ninja Turtle as a kid? I don't think I had a favorite actually. I always had hats for April, <laughs> and uh, I think I, I, I liked all four turtles equally. Didn't have any favorites. Well, maybe Michelangelo, maybe. I don't think they were very different to me when I was younger, when I watched the cartoon. They were just turtles. I have a theory that whatever turtle you like as a kid is who you grow up to be personality-wise. Personality -wise. So you have only four personalities for the entire uh, planet. Second, guys, stupid real world won't leave me alone. Fuck off. Okay, I'm getting behind on your messages. I have a theory, okay? Uh, your favorite turtle was. Oh, Casey Jones, dude, definitely. Yeah, you know what? If, if you can count him as my favorite turtle, then yes, I freaking love Casey. Casey Jones, hell yeah. Um, for the Russian community, English swear words are perceived as a joke, so there is nothing wrong with that if you call me a retard. Okay, well, it does feel wrong to me, so... I don't give a shit about what you feel. I only care about my own feelings. And calling you red art makes me feel bad. Calling you a red art. Ah, what else? What are your thoughts about Megan Fox as April uh, in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie? Well, actually, a while back, like a couple years ago, I recorded a video like talking about that. I think you can still find it on my Patreon. I did not like her. I think she does not fit the uh, character. April is this, you know, she is a girl. She is a girl next door. She is outgoing. She she does not have a uh, model type of um, you know appearance. She is wearing a freaking jumpsuit. She is attractive, yes, but she is not. At oh fuck my life! She is not attractive in an obvious way, and uh, but you know, it could have sti still worked if if they if creator of the movie did not hate me. <laughs> if he created the movie the way I wanted it to be created. I did not like the movie at all, and it was not because Megan Fox was there. It was because freaking Master Splinter learned how to be Japanese and how to be ninja from a freaking pamphlet he found in a sewer. What the hell? <sighs> Okay, back to messages. Um, mm -hmm. It is time for Korea to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, dude, have a good night, uh, Korean John. Thank you for showing up. Good night, good night. Uh, Casey banged April. Well, yeah, maybe that's why I like him so much. He was my uh, my ideal. Uh, my he did things I wanted to do with April. <laughs> I, I suppose. 
Uh, again, that question, Zanor, we already, I already discussed it a few hours ago. Yes, I have to, because of my work, I have to do, I have to keep in shape. So yes, I go to gym, I uh, go to swim, swimming if I can, I do yoga, all that stuff. Actually takes a lot of time, but it is, there is no way around it. Other way, otherwise I have terrible headaches and back pains and stuff like that. So, you yeah. know. Gotta stay sexy for all my imaginary girlfriends. Ah, for my fucking back. Ah. Megan Fox looks like someone who was designed to be hot, but not, but now she looks like a plastic doll. Well, I cannot say that I hate Megan Fox, I know that some people do. I, I don't really care, even if she looks like a plastic doll. It's just, I want a good... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie for adults. Well, not porn, but just for adults. And uh, I want April to wear yellow jumpsuit. Is it too much to ask? Okay, I need to use this for his face. A vigilante is a bit criminals with sports equipment. <clears throat> Case Jones? Yes. Vigilante. Oh, dude, definitely Lance Murray. I do enough pull-ups. Don't, don't you worry about that. Pull-ups are very important and all sorts of like um, exercise activity that that is aimed to your back muscles. It's crucial, I would say, because otherwise you're gonna suffer. And you know, it gets worse as you get older. So like 10 years ago, it, it didn't really matter, but now it is a big issue. And I sort of have no choice, but to... It's a good motivation actually, <laughs> to stay in shape.
I disapprove of, of what Setcrab is doing, but I know that they are trying to distance themselves from my work, and there is a this is this is the right direction to take. But they never contacted me and tried to you know ask my permission or anything. So yeah, I don't like them, and I hope they will distance themselves from my work as far as possible. They have little respect for, uh, you know, for other, other people's work, so I doubt. I have big doubts about their, like, uh, abilities to create something worthy. Although, although, if they will, I will play it. I will be the first one to play it, if they create a good game. Yeah, I know, uh, Lance Murray. There is nothing to grind in Star Channel. Uh, I saw this one guy, he was asking for uh, cheats, like how can I cheat? He was asking how can I cheat in uh, Star Channel. And there's like barely any game gameplay. What do you want to cheat like for? But you know, usually the people, uh, people who are most vocal, who are the first like to share their opinions, are usually the most useless. Uh, I don't want to insult anyone, but that's just usually how it is. So, whatever. They will complain about stuff like I don't know. Th this includes like everybody, like. Social justice warriors, whatever, like people who just have too much work, too much time on their hands. People who are busy with with work and stuff, they 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 don't, they don't have time for that, you know. I have a lot of like supporters who support me like for a very long time with like uh, sizable donations. Let's call that that and um, they never complained once and I have people who like never supported me who never like do, did anything and they just show up and start uh, you know demanding things that's just people they are the kind of persons they are fuck them I say uh, and fuck my wife and my uh, back, damn it. Uh, this I will finish this stream in about 20 minutes. So. A blast from the past. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. For me, the story is always important. I cannot play a game if if it has no story. You know, if it's like it may have great gameplay, like shooter or whatever, but I probably will not play it. So yeah, story is very important for me, at least.
<laughs> Pac-Man. Oh, well, I cannot argue with that. Pac-Man is a classic. Even though it doesn't have any story. But you know, it's an old game. It's an old game. And back in the day, it was... And it also from an arcade. And... Uh, you could not put, like, meaningful story. Well, I suppose you could, but still. That's not why you came to play to the arcade. Thank you, Denis Vorochkov. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kind feedback. I appreciate it. Uh, so guys, I tomorrow if all go if all goes well, I will be streaming streaming also, but I will be streaming on my Picarto channel because I will be doing some CGs that contain nudity, naughty pictures. likely this is my this is the time I usually work well if you are subscribed to my channel on Picarto you will get a notification if I go online tomorrow so if you are not subscribed Make sure you fix that as soon as possible. There is a new, got to be a new sort of perversion, the way you use Russian runes to type in English. I can assure you that I will be doing nothing like that ever. I get a lot of requests, not a lot, but sometimes people ask for like a French version of the game or Spanish or whatever. Um, I can assure you that I have no time to do things like that. And you lazy fuckers, fuckers <laughs> should just learn how to speak English and leave me the fuck alone with your shit. Well, that's not how I reply, of course. Usually I am very polite. At least I try to be. 
but seriously, you know, just learn some English and stop bothering me. You see, Artem knows. Yes, those special Russian runes. Also known as runic Russian. I think I saw a poster once, um, but no, I didn't watch that movie. Was it was it any good? Should I watch it? I don't watch many Russian movies, to be honest with you. But maybe I should fix that. And watch something awesome. Ah, fucking fuck. <laughs> uh, thank you, Zanor. Thank you for your warning. Thank you for warning me. Well, I, I think I did uh, see the the poster, and it didn't look very impressive. So, Thanks, man, uh, Lance Murray. Well, basically, I that's what I do. I draw what I want, well, for the most part. Uh, you know, it's only possible because of the support people show me. So, thank you. Thank you for uh, playing my games and making it possible for me to keep doing this. And yes, I will be signing off soon, in uh, about 10 minutes, I think. <laughs> well... Now I'm kind of curious, actually, you know, uh, Artyom, because um, maybe it's a movie that is so bad it is actually fun to watch, you know, because it's it's terrible, but it's fun. So I'll just keep it in mind. Maybe one day I'll give it a try, just just to just you know just to know what it is. That means I am not missing out on much by not watching too many Russian movies.
Hello, um, Svetilisha. Welcome to the stream. And guys, um, I would appreciate if you would switch to English. Well, my feeling of, you know, my feeling of self-worth is not connected to Russian movies in any way. <laughs> so, if you if you say they are shit, they are shit. It does not affect me at all. And I, I don't think it should affect anyone. You should be very insecure to, to get insulted about things like that. I think I am done with this bastard. This is great, I finished everything I, I hoped to finish today. All the um, uh, save for work drawings. Hmm. Awesome. Still have a lot of work ahead of me and will work on it tomorrow on my Picarta channel. Hopefully, if, uh, if all goes well. Thanks, man. Mm, Svetilish person. You know I'm sitting here just waiting for someone to get on my nerves so I could ban them, right? Don't make me release on my anger on you. This is first strike, Svetilish. done um, I will keep this stream going and just chat with you for maybe five more minutes oh. yes I do manage that thank you There is a Russian movie about the bear man. Is it like a superhero movie? Oh right! I, I saw the trailer I think. It looks it looked ridiculously fun. And uh, you know it was stupid but in a good way. There was like bear man and two other more superheroes I think. <laughs> it looked so stupid. But I didn't I didn't see the movie, but now I am I don't know, I'm, I'm curious now. Maybe I should. Why do you draw on paper? Because I can. Why not? Oh, dude, I wish I, wish I had like clearly Russian accent that they have in the movies, you know? I need to speak real slow, I think, to sound like, like Russian mafiosi or whatever. Thanks, man, uh, Utis. Um, it was actually, um, you know, difficult for me to draw him 
again make sure that he looks recognizable so yeah this is the old version <laughs> And he has his head positioned in a very strange way and it made it difficult for me. But I think I got him more, more or less right. Um, messages, messages. There was, there was also Kazakhstan man for, for real. <laughs> um, Yes, this picture is for uh, BHP. your game look to your real look um, I don't know my game my in-game avatar was drawn like 10 years ago I'm much older now I'm just a white skinny guy with a beard now <laughs> but usually just with some mm, usually I am shaved not clean shaved no, dude, I don't need help, thank you. Okay, guys, well, I am done with this. This was a very long stream, uh, but like I said, we managed to get quite a few things done. I will not be streaming on YouTube again for a while, because I don't have anything else that I could stream that is not uh, against YouTube pol policy, whatever. So I will be moving to my usual Picardo uh, channel next for next streams. Uh, thank you guys for showing up, everyone, and uh, I appreciate that most of my Russian comrades uh, were trying to speak English for everyone's convenience. Thank you guys, you're awesome. I appreciate you're taking this, um, making this sacrifice for me. Um, so. Um, Thank you guys, I will be going now and uh, thank you for your support, thank you for playing my games, I will be done with Broken Heart Bordello and I will be getting to uh, space uh, channel thing, star channel, so that should be fun and uh, you know, thank you for your support and uh, take care of yourselves first and then uh, support me. <laughs> take care guys, have a nice day.